In this video, I will compare Fantastical versus the Apple Calendar and tell you if I think Fantastical is worth it or whether the free Apple Calendar may just be better. So first of all, you can use both of them across all your Apple devices. And they both allow for basic scheduling, like you see in this picture right here. They also allow you to set up reminders and collaborate with family members and people from your work. So what does Fantastical offer that Apple Calendar doesn't? Now you can see that right here. So with Fantastical you have a free plan and a premium plan. So if you are looking for a free option you could still go with Fantastical. But if you are looking for a free plan I would personally just go with the Apple Calendar. But for the premium plan, you can see the weather forecast gets you 10 days, you get priority email support, and on top of that you get all of these productivity, scheduling, collaboration, and customization features. So this is stuff like for productivity, you have calendar sets, you have calendar set syncing, automatic calendar set switching, travel time. So basically it will block out travel time to events in your calendar time to leave notifications, interesting calendars, Apple Watch support, and home screen widgets. However, Apple Calendar also offers that. Now you can also do scheduling, so you can send an RSVP where you invite people. You can set up openings, so you can schedule events based on your availability, and proposals, so you can create meeting polls. You can also collaborate with all of these platforms right here. You can set up automatic conference call links. And you have all of these other features right here. So Fantastical does offer more than Apple Calendar, especially in the premium plan. So again, if you want to get started with one of the free plans, I would just go with Apple Calendar. But you can see right here, the paid plans for Fantastical can be pretty pricey. For individuals, it's €5.84 per month when you bill annually. And then for families up to five people, it's €8.34 per month also billed annually. Now for teams and businesses, it's €5.84 per user per month billed annually. Now on every single paid plan, there is a 14-day free trial. So should you use Fantastical or Apple Calendar? In my opinion, Apple Calendar is a perfectly fine app. However, I would go with Fantastical if you are looking for a bit of a more advanced tool that will do stuff like plan in your traveling time, time to leave notifications, where you can collaborate with your team members even better compared to Apple Calendar, and where you can invite people with deadlines, and also this one where you can schedule events based on your availability so that people can kind of book in a slot on your calendar. So in those cases, I would go with Fantastical, but if you are looking for a free option and a very straightforward and easy to use option, then I would go with Apple Calendar. So that concludes this comparison of Fantastical versus Apple Calendar. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.